Hi, I'm Mark Friedman. I'm just an American citizen, and it's Sunday, May 16th. Beautiful day. Just beautiful. The last few days, spring's beautiful. I keep talking about the cicadas. I haven't seen anything, but I wish they quit talking about the cicadas already. Just get them here. Let's see if they happen. I haven't seen them in a long time. We'll find out. Either way, I'm going to talk quickly today about, which I think is one of the dumbest moves of all time, the New York Gay Pride Parade is not going to have cops, I think, for like five years, at least a block or so away. They're going to have their own security. How absolutely dumb is that? Absolutely dumb. Who's going to protect people? I mean, does anybody ever remember Altamont? How about the Hells Angels? You know, when the Stones, and I think it was the Allman Brothers, and someone else had a big concert at Altamont Speedway many years ago. I know, it's just past history. Nobody cares about history. But they didn't have any cops. They had the Hells Angels run everything, because the Hells Angels were cool. They were going to keep it all together. We all thought, yeah, it was after Woodstock, and we're in control, and we would only love peace. Well, for those who don't know, the Hells Angels went crazy, a fan got killed in the front. There was never any, any real, uh, uh, anybody really get in trouble over it. The Stones left, never played Sympathy for the Devil again, I think for, excuse me, for decades. So what's going to happen here? Look, if there's problems with the cops, they're accountable. So if there is an issue, you can bring it against the city, you can bring it against the cops, you can bring it against whomever, there's laws to take care of accountability if the police department blows it during the gay pride parade. But what are you going to do if you hire just some thugs, really some security thugs, you might as well call cyber ninjas from Arizona and bring them in, and just let them run around? What happens if they start whacking people in the head? What if they start making trouble? You think people are going to listen to them? Why would people listen? They're just security. They're not cops. So we're really opening up a situation that may be okay this year because everybody will be on it. What happens the second year and the third year? What happens if there are real injuries or real killings at a, at a gay pride parade, which should be for gay pride? This makes no sense. There are limits you should go to, but if you want to be that dumb gay pride parade of New York, be that dumb. If I'm in New York, I say take the cops and send them where people want them for that day. Let them take care of their own problems down there in the city. It makes absolutely no sense. But we're going to have to learn from our mistakes. But nobody learns from history. Look up Altamont, the Stones, the Hells Angels. It's going to happen here. Peace.